guys welcome to my channel my name is Vika and in today's video we will talk about one of the best long-term investors of all the time and the chairman of Berkshire Hathaway before we start make sure to subscribe and smash that like button to help YouTube algorithm so in this video we will talk about top 10 Warren Buffett stocks in 2019 first one is Apple it's well established company which has dropped almost 13 percent for uh, one year ago but here is the question why apple dropped down in last year because of our market situation a fundamental of uh, apple stock is really good but market was so extended so it just has to correct itself and with it, it uh, apple is being corrected as well uh, warren buffett accumulating apple stocks over the years and it's not different in 2019 so let's look at the apple stock it was the first company which hit one trillion dollars market capitalization but after that it dropped 30 percent and after it, things just looking better and it's just uh, recovered a little bit so let's look at the chart as you can see uh, apple dropped down about one years ago and after that uh, things look better and it just recovering to the $200 per share uh, market cap is uh, 900 billion dollars the ratio is very good a little bit below S&P 500 so that mean uh, that Apple is a little bit on the cheap side dividend yield it's okay about 1.5% uh, uh, Apple stock is very very good uh, very very good and big company so uh, you can't expect that dividend yield can be uh, higher than that so let's clear this up here's the earning of the Apple so we can see here that in 2018 it was the one of the best year in the, in the entire history of company so price corrected due to overall market and fundamental company is really really good it's just my opinion but i think buffett is looking to financial of the company and in order to that can see the company is really really good in the long term and that is the reason uh, why uh, why the company is 25 percent of his overall portfolio the main thing for apple is iphone sale uh, can apple continue to grow iphone revenue or at least sustain as it is apple is one of the best brand in the world with very long tradition which founder is steve jones very very charismatic guys so people just feel good it uh, if they own apple instead of some other mobile phone and uh, that is the one of the biggest reason why a customer buy iphone and just in my opinion i think iphone uh, will be growing up and apple stocks and this is just my opinion but i think that iPhone sales is continuing to growing up and as well Apple stock is continuing to growing up and that is the main reason why Warren Buffett will be buying Apple stocks a little bit more in uh, next few years. The second stock in Warren Buffett portfolio is Bank of America which is the second Bank of America. Market cap is 220 nine billion dollar p ratio is quite low and dividend is also quite good buffett said in one interview that uh, he was holding uh, stocks of bank of america for a very 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 long time so let's look to the summary of bank of america as you can see uh, as well as apple due to overall market situation about one years ago it uh, bank of america dropped drop to the low low 20 and after they recover and move around uh, 30 cent p and ratio as i mentioned earlier is quite low which is very good and dividend years dividend year is uh, 2.62 percent which is which is good this information we can assume that warren buffett likes a job that chairman and ceo brian thomas Manningham do and it's clear that buffett like this so he will hold 
Bank of America stock for a very, very, very long time. Third largest stocks of Warren Buffett portfolio is Wells Fargo. It's, of course, just another bank stocks. Uh, has, uh, Wells Fargo has lower PA ratio than Bank of America and high dividend yields. So Buffett has in his portfolio a few more bank stocks, but I will just mention it and in the end of the video I will give one very good reason why Buffett have, has a lot of bank stock. So for now we'll just have one quick look at the summary of Wells Fargo. As you can see in the chart, Wells Fargo dropped out about uh, one years ago and uh, after that just continued to move around. Market cap is to about 200 billion dollars uh, peer ratio is even lower than bank of america peer ratio and the uh, dividend the yield is is very very high and 4.38 percent which is very very good and uh, this is the one of the best peer ratio in bank sectors four stocks of warren buffett portfolio is uh, famous company coca-cola Everyone knows that Coca-Cola is drink, but it's just way more than that. Coca-Cola is a company which owns more than 20 well-established brands such as Sprite, Fanta, Schweppes and others. So when you think about Coke, it's not just it, it's more than $1 billion each. So uh, every brand uh, worth over $1 billion and Coca-Cola has 20 brands or more. Coca-Cola is fourth largest position that Warren Buffett owe more than 20% overall shares of Coca-Cola and Buffett said that he never, never sold any shares of Coca-Cola. So for now, just uh, have a quick look for Coca-Cola summary. As you can see in the chart, uh, it just uh, was one little correction uh, about a uh, few months ago but after that Coca-Cola is continuing growing up growing up and it's way better than Apple and uh, bank stocks. Uh, market cap is 238 billion dollars and the uh, PA ratio is not uh, not corrected here. Uh, forward the dividend yield is it's about 2.9 percent which is okay so for coca-cola it's just a simple and beautiful business model that coke have have that's very secure because whatever happened people will still have need for such drink no matter how far technology goes so this is the reason why warren buffett owned this stock is that the one beautiful and simple business concept and coca-cola is founded about 125 years ago and the more and uh, it's uh, very very difficult to just just drop and to just people can uh, just people stop buying it and drink it fifth stocks in warren buffett portfolio is Kraft Heinz. Kraft Heinz is full company buffett own about 25 percent of the entire company this is uh, the third company in the america and the fifth company in the entire world. Uh, it owns uh, brands such as Philadelphia, Golden Circle, Honig and others. So for now, well, let's take a look for the numbers of company. PA ratio is wrong, dividend yields is very, very, very high for overall market, but Kraft Heinz has been continuing dropping more, more and more every year. That is uh, my biggest consideration. So Kraft Heinz is very interesting. First of all, Buffett owns 25% of entire company. Second, it's very high dividend yield. And third is uh, Kraft Heinz is food company and same like Coca-Cola. It's very simple business, which does not depend much of technology because people always have, have to eat. My biggest concern for this company is that it have a long-term decreasing trending. So, six stocks in Warren Buffett portfolio is American Express. It is 7.3% uh, of Buffett portfolio. Seventh is US Bank Corp. It is almost 30%. Uh, eighth is Moody's, 1.86%. Uh, it's financial service company. Nine is Goldman Sachs, 1.86%. Bank, of course. And tenth is JP Morgan Bank about one uh, percent and the last question is why buffett owns so many stocks in his portfolio so let's uh, take for example 
Goldman Sachs financial and uh, chart. So as you can see in chart in uh, in overall looking uh, direction is uh, about decreasing is going uh, lower and lower but it is very very interesting one so let's look at financial as you can see uh, gross profit of uh, Goldman Sachs is quite interesting very very good it uh, getting better better uh, every quarter so for the end of this video let's conclude this price of the bank company goes down decreasing but fundamental of company is really really good and uh, bank is made more more money every quarter Buffett probably here sees very good potential for price to go up and that can be the reason why he invests so much money into stocks so that was top 10 Warren Buffett stocks for 2019 for now I hope you enjoyed this video so at the end uh, just smash that like button if you haven't uh, already and subscribe at this channel and leave a comment below so for now it is the end and we will see in the next video